We're at Hyundai's headquarters in Sydney and there's no car behind me because this isn't a car review. There is a weird robotic thing that looks like a dog that I can feel glaring at me. What are you looking at? It's behind me, but this won't be a car review because we're gonna take a look at Spot, an incredible piece of technology that's been designed by Boston Dynamics. And you might be wondering why a car manufacturer wants anything to do with robotics. Well, car manufacturers now spend a lot of time talking about mobility, and this thing is pretty mobile. Let's take a closer look at it. I can feel you glaring at me. Here then, guys, are the nerdy facts. Spot has 360 degree perception thanks to five different cameras and it can map terrain and avoid obstacles as they appear. Seeing Spot in person, the stability and balance is phenomenal, even when you try to push Spot off balance. The various tricks are impressive, of course, but even something as simple as walking up a set of stairs, Spot looks more stable than the average person. Typical runtime from the battery pack is 90 minutes with 180 minutes standby time. Two battery packs are available, weighing 4.2 kilograms and 5.2 kilograms respectively. Just like a real dog, Spot's view works through black and white fish eye functionality, range perception and infrared. That's not like a real dog. And Spot can carry up to 14 kilograms of payload. There's Wi-Fi and ethernet connectivity and an operating temperature range between 0 and 40 degrees Celsius. With the lighter battery pack, Spot weighs 31.7 kilograms or 32.7 kilograms with the heavier battery. Standing at its tallest when walking, Spot is 700 millimeters high, but it can creep as low as 520 millimeters from the ground. Spot's default walking height is 610 millimeters. And if you're wondering whether Spot will outrun you, Probably not. Maximum speed is 5.6 kilometres per hour. You know, the more time I spend here, even just looking at this robot doing what it's doing, the more I realise that it actually does make a lot of sense for a vehicle manufacturer to be getting involved with robotics. So forget the fact that we're normally reviewing cars. Don't even think of this in the context of a car, that it's got four legs instead of four wheels. Forget all of that. The first thing is that manufacturers talk a lot about mobility. Now mobility means a car obviously, but it can mean small personal transport, or in the case of the technology that they can learn from something like Spot, it could mean an exoskeleton that helps a person with a disability use their arms and legs or be able to be more mobile than they would previously have been. So this really does transcend just what goes into vehicle manufacturing. It's a whole lot more than that. However, if you look at it from a car perspective, which is what we're normally reviewing at Drive, there's a lot of technology packed into this small space that translates into the car. So you've got things like the camera system. Spot's got five cameras that look around and provide a 360 degree view. We've seen that move into the automotive space with parking cameras. They'll be able to refine it with what they learn from Spot. The other factor is the packaging. So you've got four motors at each of the legs, which when we go into fully electric off-road vehicles, for example, you're going to have electric motors on every axle so that you can really control what each axle is doing. Manufacturers might be learning a little bit of the control of that from something like Spot. You've got carbon and, and Kevlar in the manufacturing process, lightweight materials, and the ability to package really high-tech workings and machinery into such a small space. So the more you look at this technology, it might look a little weird and it looks nothing like a car, and it doesn't really obviously scream that it's got anything to do with automotive, but the more you look at it, the more you think about it, the more you look at the specs and what it can do, it really does make sense that car manufacturers want to get involved in understanding and studying robotics. <laughs> you know, I still can't believe I'm walking up a set of stairs following a robot. It really is crazy technology. And like we said, this technology is moving into the automotive space faster than you would ever think and the world is changing. The way that we think about moving around and the way that we think about moving populations around is changing, especially in the big cities and mobility like this, the technology that is in something like Spot will absolutely translate into the automotive scene and of course if you want to watch any of our reviews on regular cars that aren't quite as future facing as Spot, go to drive.com.au.